winter has arrived. The high peaks and jagged rocks of Chucker Country are now barely visible, hidden by a thick blanket of snow that is growing deeper by the hour. The icy breeze that wanders through the canyons feels almost paralyzing, seeping into every joint as if attempting to claim you piece by piece. Despite the deep cold that surrounds us, we can hardly contain our excitement. There is nothing quite like the otherworldly feeling of being deep in the mountains, with snow slowly falling around you, with that almost eerie but peaceful silence that is all of a sudden broken by a cacophonous flapping of wings, and then a shot ringing out. We know that our hunt today will be difficult, but for us, this only strengthens our resolve. The mantra of the chuck hunter is, I'm here for the challenge, and Old Man Winter has certainly provided one. What do you guys think? I, think I wish we could have parked closer on the mountains. <laughs> Today we are hunting with our friends Rowan and Elise from the Track and Outdoors YouTube channel. Check them out if you haven't already. They have some great videos and share a lot of the same passions as we do at Reels and Ridges. Jordan and Reed, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Last one to shoot Chucker is a loser. All right, all right. <laughs> it's a race. Rowan and Elise decided to head up the canyon to the northeast that contains some gnarly rocky crags. We took a more northern vector toward a hill that looked to have some good feeding areas. I just got an alert to he's on point. It's gonna be an hour before I get there. There were only two birds in the jump, the one I missed and another that peeled off to the right and flew toward Reed, landing about 200 yards above him in a cropping of rocks. Reed saw the bird land and headed that way. Jordan, Reed, you guys hear us? Hey Jordan, go ahead. You guys getting into anything? I saw two birds. Anything had a great point. I missed the easiest shot of my life, but uh, Reed got one. What about you guys? I did a bunch of shooting. Rick, fetch up. Good girl. Good girl, Rick. Rick here. Rowan and Elise are hunting over their three-year-old German short-haired pointer, Ricky, today. Good girl. Yeah. I knocked down two birds. We've been looking for the second bird for probably an hour now and can't come up with it. So we're going to keep cruising here. But we got into them as soon as we got to the other side of that, way low too. Uh, there had to have been 20, 30 birds there. Uh, right on. The ones we saw were high, but we're definitely headed low because there's just way too much snow up here. Should have brought snowshoes and a toboggan for this trip, huh? Given the amount of snow at the top of the mountain, we knew the majority of birds would be lower, so we decided to head down and hunt the ravines below us. When the snow gets this deep, chucker often take refuge and feed under the larger brush that grows at the bottom of the ravine. We jumped a covey in the first ravine we came to. The birds split into two groups going opposite ways, so we decided to divide and conquer. Reed went after the birds that went up the ravine, and I went after the birds that went over the hill. Okay. 
Catch that bird. You got it? That's my girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl, Annie. It's just one single bird. As always, we have Annie with us today. She is having a stellar year and I can't wait to see how she does on this snow day. Hold. Reed was sick after missing such a close opportunity on that second bird. He thought he may have hit it on the third shot, so he took the dogs down the ravine to see if he did. On our way down, we were surprised by a small group. I hiked all the way up here. I knew there'd be a dent in the snow, and if you can see right there, the tail of a bird is sticking out of the snow. Super deep, and he's not picking it up. I think it's buried. Wow, look at that. Just barely sticking out of the snow. Crazy. We continued down the ravine, trying to find the bird Reed thought he hit. We were almost to the bottom of the ravine and about to give up when my Garmin caller alerted me that Annie was on point. Yeah. I mean, these sagebrush are pretty big. How can she be this close to me? I don't see her. She's got to be on point. Oh, I see her. I see her. She's right in front of you. She on point? Oh, oh, hey, Midge. Yeah, grab it, grab it. Good girl, Annie. Heck yeah. Good girl, Annie. Good girl. That was amazing. Great job, Annie. Man, today's been a really great day for Midge. Um, you know, it's her first season. She's had varying degrees of success each time we've gone out. Each time's gotten a little better. And, you know, of course, I don't expect a whole bunch out of her this year. She's very young and she's still learning. But today she actually bumped a covey of about 10 birds. Annie pointed it and then Midge came thundering in and jumped them all up like a rookie dog might do. And we were kind of bummed, but then she totally made up for it by when they the group kind of split and some of these birds went up the ravine and they were in this sagebrush kind of like we're in now and midge was just picking it apart it was just me and her there weren't a ton of birds so she's not in competition with another dog she pointed every single bird up there there's about four different birds up there getting your dog in the right situation is i think important for success that was just a really really good practice for midge to sort of understand that hey when we smell the birds we stop with Reed having his limit and the storm getting worse, we decided to head toward the truck. It wasn't long though before Annie was on point yet again. Oh, falling down. Oh my God, I was falling down. Good girl, Annie. Grab it, Annie, good girl. Come on. That's my girl. Oh, what a good girl. As we continued toward the truck, Annie went on point again. This time, however, Midge was in on the action just a little further up the road. Good girl, Midge. 
hole. Okay. My hands are so cold. Hey, Bird! Mage, you're the real deal! Go, Mage, be here! Despite the blizzard, we had a great hunt with our friends at Tracking Outdoors. With snow continuing to fall, we couldn't help but wonder what tomorrow's hunt had in store. For the second day, it was just the Reels and Ridges crew as Rowan and Elise had headed back the night before. The storm had given way to clear skies and cold temperatures with plenty of snow left on the ground. Today, we decided to switch gears a bit and target Hungarian partridges exclusively. Huns are plentiful in the northeastern part of the state, which is a fair distance from where we live, so we don't often run into them, but since we were in that neck of the woods, we decided to take advantage. In all of my years of hunting, I have never harvested a hun. Today, I'm hoping to change that. For both days of this hunt, we are shooting the following guns. Reed is using the Franke Affinity 3 with a modified choke. I am shooting a Stoger M3500 with a full choke. We were out of the truck only a few minutes when Annie went on point. Okay. Bird. A quail. Good girl, Annie. That is the first quail I've shot in a long time. Good girl. in that bush right in front of her. She's got like the thousand yard stare up here, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, maybe it is right in front of her. Yeah, I missed that one. Just came upon this little pit stop a quail made. Ran around a little bit and flew, but you can see where he took off here by the uh, the wing marks in the cell. Pretty cool. Although we were happy to get into some quail, we really wanted to find some huns, so we decided to leave these birds and head over the hill. On our way up, Annie locked up. Something. Sounds like a deer. 
here or something. Hold, hold. Yeah, good girl, Annie. I got two in one shot. Tell you what, no matter how many times Annie goes on point, it never gets old. It's my favorite thing in the world to see. She's incredible. And my advice to anybody out there with a dog is never take a flush for granted. You only get so many hunts out here with these dogs. Be in the moment, enjoy every hunt with them. Some hunts are better than others, but you got a limited number of times on the mountain with them and you got to make everyone count. Getting two quail with one shot was a nice treat, but we still had our hearts set on getting into some hunts. Once we got over the hill and descended into the next ravine, we got an alert that Annie was on point. Hold. In front of her, the quail. I want her way behind me. Hold. Those were huns. We finally found some huns, but they busted pretty wild. They didn't appear to have flown very far, so we booked it to where we saw them go. I got one! Me too. Oh, good girl. One more, eh? The bird? Reed immediately picked up his bird, but mine was seemingly nowhere to be found. Cause I hit like, I'm mean, gonna hit like right here. After being unable to find the bird for some time, we watched the GoPro video to see if we could figure out exactly where the bird fell. All right, we've been, we just watched the footage here. I'm thinking this might be it because this is like disturbed snow. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> first hunt ever. Yeah, nice. Annie, first, where were you on that? I mean, first hunt ever. Where, it's like I can't smell through the snow. You need to get your fox on, little dog. The majority of the birds had flown into the next ravine, but on the way, I was surprised by a single. I said it before, I'm a, Hunter first and a cameraman second, so even though I didn't have my camera on, I shot one. Oh, Annie's on it. 
Well, not a lot of time between my first hunt and my second hunt ever. Next ridge over, got surprised by this one. We continued to walk from ravine to ravine, finding birds on the south facing slopes that had considerably less snow. Annie had a long point here, about 160 yards, but waited patiently for us to trek through the deep snow. Did you get that one or me? I thought I did. I thought I did too, dang it. Weary! Good girl! Oh, you're my retrieving dog! You're my retrieving dog! Come on! Good girl! Yes! Over here, right here! Taking a long way. Yeah, well, I don't know who got this one, me or Reed. We're gonna have to look at the tape for that. I think I got this one, but we're going to have to uh, let the tape tell us. But for now, I'm going to claim it, and we're going to go get the rest of these birds, or some, we're going to follow these birds. There's a big group of hunts. Those are ones we haven't even seen yet. Got up. Oh. All right, third hunt. Man, I didn't get a hunt for over 20 years. I got three today. With a decent walk back to the truck and some sore legs from two days of hunting in deep snow, we decided to head back, but Annie wasn't finished yet. Good girl, Annie! Good nice shot. Did you get any? Oh. One. Grab it. Oh, good girl, Annie. Good girl. Good girl. Grab it. Good girl. All right, another quail. I think I'm standing right on top of it. My first hunt in a mixed bag were a great way to cap two days of stellar hunting. You gotta love a snow day.